So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays. A new DAX function every single Friday. And in today's DAX Fridays, we're actually going to continue with the statistical series. And we're going to talk about linear regression. Mm, very, very, very useful and very interesting. Okay, so first of all, linear regression is used to predict one variable based on the value of another one okay so based on the value of x we try to predict y for example the data i have now in power bi is from my youtube channel the number of views and the number of subscribers and what i would like to know if is i can predict the number of subscribers based on the number of views and you're probably going to say like hmm obviously because you can see that channels that have a lot of views often have a lot of subscribers. Not always, but that's most often the case. But how about if we would have a formula that allow us to predict how much that would be based on the number of views and based on, you know, previous performance. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to demonstrate that. So to be able to see the relationship between two variables. It's very, very useful to plot them, use them as scatter plot. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go here to Power BI and I'm going to throw in views and subscribers uh, in a scatter plot. Scatter plots are really, really useful, really useful. And we want to have every single point plotted, okay? We don't want to have any summarized data, we just want to see the points. So this is how the data looks like. And as you can see, it has a specific pattern. In this case, it has a line pattern. So if we would try to fit the pattern of these with a line, it would look more or less like this. So that would be the line where most of the points are close to. Something like that. And that is the regression line. You can actually get that line in Power BI from the analytic panes trend line. Let's put it in. See how well we did. Oh, look, we did quite good. Quite good. Do you see the black line in there? So you can actually get the trend line, the regression line in Power BI, but it will not give you the formula. So if you would like to predict future performance, you would have to do it in paper, for example. So let me see if I would like to predict how many subscribers I would get if I would get 11,000 views. So I would go in there. Let me grab the pen. <laughs> it will go faster. So I will go in there. I will extend this. And there might not be necessary as the slope is not that big. So here we have 8, that's about 9, 10, 11,000. So I would have to go up here. I would have to extend my line. And somewhere in here, that would predict the number of subscribers. So it's about that. I don't know. It's like 90 or 85 subscribers. So if I get 11,000 views, I would get 95, 85 subscribers. Okay. But obviously we don't want to do it with paper. We want to be able to calculate future performance. And for that, you need the equation for that. You need the formula. So the line, the formula for a line, it is y equal mx plus b. So y in our case is the number of subscribers and x is the number of views. And m, we need to calculate it based on that line, is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And y-intercept is, this is the y-line you can see it's the point at where the line crosses the y axis. I'll, I'll tell you why those things are important. Well, tell us once we have calculated them, right? So now we're going to find out 
what is the equation for that line, for our line for views and subscribers? And once we have that, we will be able to predict future performance. How cool is that? Um, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Delete what we see on the screen. So here it is. The, the formulas for linear regression are all over the internet. You're going to get this file for downloads. You will have everything in there. Okay, so you're going to get all the calculations. I'm going to go very quickly with them because I don't want to bore you by writing everything, you know? So let's see. Here we have the views, the subscribers. What you need to calculate is views times subscribers. Then you need to calculate uh, views square subscriber square and then you need to calculate the sum of all of those so the sum of views the sum of subscribers the sum of the x square the sum of the y square and once you have that you know the, the number of points in your data set and once you have that then you calculate the intercept which is calculated here you're going to get the file you will get this easy busy and then you will calculate i wrote actually here the definition for the inter um, intercept so you can actually you don't have to come to the video when you download the file you'll you'll see it there but it the intercept as we talked about it is the you no know, this is the y-axis and this is where the line crosses uh, the y-axis and it basically says at zero views so when views are zero how many subscribers would you expect to get and in this case once we've done all the calculations let me show you get away get away oh the dogs is just drives me nuts so this is how our equation looks based on the data, right? So in here, if you remember the uh, formula, it was y equal b plus mx. So this is b and it says two. So it is intercepting at two. So if I would get e x, equals zero that means no views whatsoever i would get two subscribers how likely is that i don't know but it doesn't sound so unlikely actually there are channels that have zero i don't know if zero views i don't know if there's any channel that has zero views but very few views and subscribers maybe if you are the first one to subscribe on your mom that would be two okay so that is b and then you have m m is the slope and what it does is let me show you so it is how much our subscribers are determined by the number of views so if we get a certain amount of views i will get 0 0.01 times views subscribers so let's say that i get a hundred views i'll get one subscriber plus the intercept so three <laughs> okay so th that's the way it actually works it's actually quite useful now with the creation you can start predicting performance so predicting subscribers so one way to do that would actually be to create a parameter so we're going to do a what if scenario so new parameter and this is number of views and the minimum is zero the maximum is i don't know 100 thousand and an increment of a thousand is that a thousand or ten thousand a thousand okay So now we have here a parameter. If you remember, a parameter just creates a table with all these, uh, the numbers inside, right? Of, so create seven that, which is the selected value. 
And there you have it. So this is the thing that we can play with. Now we need to create the regression formula once more. So let's go in here, new measure, number of predicted or we call it like that. Predicted subscribers is B, which is our intercept, plus M times the number of views. So the parameter that we just created. And that really we have it. Now get away. Ah, oh, the text editor, it just drives me nuts nowadays. This is so annoying. Okay, so here we have the parameter and this is the predicted subscribers. Put it as a card. And now you can start predicting. So based on the number of views, so you can predict any value that you want here. So if I were to get 11,000, as we said, Ah, we were not that bad. So 82 subscribers. So if we have, we'll get 80,000 views, 600 subscribers. You see? So this is regression, linear regression. You see how it calculated, you see how you create scenarios for it. And why is it useful? It's very, very useful to see, uh, to determine the value of one variable based on the value of the other one. Okay, so this is over today. Um, I hope you are enjoying the statistical series. I'm definitely doing it and I'll see you again on Monday as always with another video. Hope you're enjoying your holidays and I'll see you again on Monday. Bye bye.